Hello, my name's Katie Campbell. I work for Core Elements, and this is Eloise. She's going to help demonstrate some tests today. In this video, we're going to go over the upper and lower limbs, the reflexes. So, read a patella hammer, first of all. Because of the, the distance between the camera and us, I've marked on Eloise the different areas we're going to be using the hammer on. So, this is a bicep tendon. The tendon runs about here. I'm going to hit around about here and let's use your thumb. So you've got the C5, you've got the brachioradialis, if you hit anywhere along that muscle. This is for C6, and then for C7, you've got the tricep tendon, which I've just popped an X on there. Hopefully, you can see that. For the patella, the L4, popped an X on there, and the Achilles is S1, which is on the back. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see it down here. So you start the client off in supine, so lying flat on your back, please. Just gently flex your client's elbow and pop your thumb on their bicep tendon. If you're not sure where it is or you can't palpate it, then just ask them to bring to it, flex their elbow under a bit of resistance, the bicep test effectively. Relax their arm, your thumb over the bicep tendon, and you can hit it. And here I can feel the bicep tensing. So this I can feel. You may not be able to see it from there. Moving on to the C6. Again, client needs to have a relaxed arm. So you can relax it on your leg or you can hold it. And here you can see slight flexion of the elbow. Moving on, popping your, the client's hand across their abdomen. We're going to either hold it or pop their elbow up on a pillow or your leg. Here hitting on the triceps tendon. What we're looking for is a very slight extension of the elbow. Move on to the lower limb. For the L4, going to use the hammer on this area here with the X, the patella tendon. So again, we just want to gently flex that knee. Make sure the leg's nice and relaxed. You can use your leg or a pillow. Just use, hold the end of the patella hammer. And here you can probably see quite clearly extension of the knee. get to the Achilles in this position, we can just use their leg, relax their knee onto your leg. It's a lot easier if you just create a little bit of dorsiflexion, palpate there, and then you can feel that the slight plantar flexion against your hand. So if that all looks nice and clearly, hopefully some of them showed up. Just to recap, so you've got C5, the bicep reflex, C6, the brachioradialis, C7, you have the arm across the body, the triceps tendon, L4, patella tendon, between the patella and the tibial tuberosity, and the S1 on the Achilles.